Advanced Residential Applications and Case Studies. Chapter 7, The Sales Comparison Approach, page 15, Going Farther Away. When no sales, recent or otherwise, are available in the same area as the subject, a second technique to employ is going to another market to find more recent sales of similar properties. This technique may require an adjustment for the difference in location. So it is extremely important that you fully explain and support the reasons for expanding the search area. In addition, the reasons why you consider the alternate location to be similar should be provided. If a location adjustment is made, the rationale behind the adjustment must be explained. Appraisers should take care when using this technique. Going outside the neighborhood to find sales is, unfortunately, also a way an appraiser might support a value to enable the client to make a loan. Rather than estimating market value, this technique is often used by appraisers involved in fraudulent activity. Such appraisers will frequently ignore recent sales in the immediate neighborhood in favor of higher priced sales from another market area. Because of this, intended users, including mortgage underwriters, are wary of appraisal reports in which all comparable sales are located some distance away from the subject property. In legitimate appraisal practice, going into another neighborhood or market area might be the only way to find sales that are physically comparable to the subject property. If this is the case, a full explanation of the reasons for going to an alternative market area will be needed in the report. It may also be necessary to provide an explanation of why certain sales in the subject neighborhood were not used. One of the most common reasons for going to another market area is because the subject is unique and there are no other sales of similar properties in the same area. This could be due to a much larger than typical size, a unique design or architectural style, or because the subject is a new home in an area with mostly older homes. Another example would be a home with a unique location now factor, such as a waterfront site, a panoramic view, or location on a golf course. In some cases, the comparability of the alternate location may be self-evident, but most of the time, the appraiser will need to establish comparability in the appraisal report. Here are some examples. Location in a community with similar demographics, for instance, a small town in a semi-rural area. There may be one or more small towns 
in the same general area that would have similar appeal, income levels, and population. Location in another university or college town, if the subject is located in a community with a university as the dominant employer and center of local society, it might be appropriate to find sales in another similar town, even if it is a number of miles away. Location in a historical district in a similar community. Homes that are in a designated historic district have special market appeal and considerations. It is appropriate to use a similar home in a historic district of another town. End of page. Page 16. Supporting Location Adjustments. Once the similarity of the alternative market area is established, the appraiser needs to determine if that's highlighted an adjustment is warranted and if so, support the adjustment made for the difference in location. Here are a few suggestions for extracting a location adjustment, which is often expressed as a percentage. Compare the prices of new homes built by the same developer in both communities. If the homes are the same, or similar model, it can be assumed the primary cause of the difference in price is location. Compare sale prices of common benchmark homes in two different communities where there are plenty of sales. Use a typical home, for instance, three bedrooms, two baths, 1,400 square feet. Compare land sale prices for similar lots. In many areas, lot sales are limited, but with a little research, a few sales can provide good support for a location adjustment. Compare differences in rents. For similar homes, as discussed previously, rental data on similar homes is a good basis of comparison. As with many of the techniques discussed in this course, the appraiser needs to be sure the end result makes sense and reflects the market. The adjustment made for location needs to be reasonable and well supported. If an adjustment cannot be adequately supported, it would probably be best to find another solution to the appraisal problem. End of page. Page 17, Discount or Bonus Factor. Another use for the analysis of sales data from another market is to extract a discount or bonus factor that can be applied in the subject market. This technique is used when there is no data available 
in the subject market area to support the adjustment in question. In this type of situation, the sales from the distant market are not used as comparable sales for the subject property, but instead are only used to extract an adjustment or adjustments that can be used in the appraisal of the subject property. A few examples of where use of bonus or discount factors would be appropriate are unique locational factor, golf course lot, view, waterfront, etc. Unique physical factor, such as a large size, a small size, a unique design. Property is subject to a stigma. For example, the property is located in an area of known soil stability problems. Property is impacted by adverse environmental condition. For example, proximity to power lines, a landfill, freeway noise, etc. Model homes. For example, when no sales of model homes are available in the subject area, a bonus factor might be extracted from another market to determine the premium paid for a model home. Remember, bonus factors are positive. Discount factors are negative. A bonus factor might be attributed to a property along a golf course. A discount factor might be attributed to a property that is subject to an environmental stigma. End of page. Page 18. Percentage adjustments. Typically, the adjustment for location or bonus factor is expressed as a percentage. This makes it simpler to apply and explain. In most instances, the mathematical accuracy of the adjustment is less important than making the case that an adjustment is needed and the percentage adjustment taken from another market area is supported by the analysis of the sales data. An advantage of this type of adjustment is that it can be extracted from any market. Location or time is not of critical importance. For example, Comparing three-year-old sales against each other to extract a view adjustment from another market is appropriate because the adjustment is a percentage. It can be applied to the subject to adjust for the view amenity relative to the comparables without a view. The, <clears throat> the date of sales from which the adjustment was taken is not important. As the terminology implies, the adjustment can be either positive or negative. A discount would be a negative adjustment and a bonus is obviously a positive adjustment. An example of a practical 
application of this technique is developing an adjustment for a home with water frontage. This could be an ocean, a lake, or a bay. If the only sails in the vicinity of the subject are not on the water, an appraiser may need to use these non-waterfront properties as comparable sales. In that case, a means of supporting the adjustment for the premium of the, low, the water location is needed. If there is another community with sales of homes both on the water and not on the water, comparing these sales will yield a percentage difference. This percentage or bonus factor adjustment can then be made to the sales in the subject neighborhood that are not on the water. End of page.